Right, okay, let's hop into the game, because the game the game's already underway, and we're currently 16 minutes in at the moment, and it, it, it's kind of even between both teams. Meanwhile, there's already a, a kill happening as we speak and get right into it. 16 minutes in, 4-4, four and four, but Meepo has been having a safe time at the moment, hasn't he, Milani? He's got himself an Ags, he's got himself a Diffusal Blade, and this is where he starts to roll off, right? Yes, especially uh, with the Rosh. Like it, it's it's like going on a on a dead ball that, that I don't think it's gonna stop. Like this Meepo, like he survived the first like bad patch. Now he's gonna roll and late game might have some problems, but for the next 10, 15 minutes he's gonna be a big boss. Of the game. Now he's gonna be an even bigger boss. He's got himself an Aegis. So what are they gonna do with it now? Maybe perhaps push a tier two. They're all grouped up, ready. Apart from Pugna, man, uh, it, it's the classic Aegis take. Just fix the lanes that you like got pushed into you because you were taking the rush, and then first like go try to get any kill you can. They're gonna go on Nojo. Oh, Mars is here. There's gonna be a big fight. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice spear. They'll root him in place as well. Just close to the tower, the finger of death comes out. And Scarlet is gone. Only Avenge, but a post revenge. Last. Yeah. Post revenge. Yes, I mean, we, we didn't have a chance, unfortunately, to talk about the draft, but Zive, as we spoke briefly, me and you, coming out with, yeah. with some heroes, you know, post revenge, post four Nyx, uh, Meepo carry, not the heroes we see every day, but heroes that uh, actually have a really high win rate now. They're like, oh, hold that thought, Nyx hunting Meljo? No, oh, he's good. He's gone. Very close. But yeah, we, we weren't able to get into the draft there, unfortunately, guys, due to some issues with the stream. But now everything's all good. I, I don't know where I can promise that or not, but hopefully there'll be no further issues, further progressing into the day. Hopefully we are all okay. I'm sure it will be fine. It's just, uh, you know, uh, as the players, as a, uh, uh, when we are players and we're playing these tournaments, we would have the like first game of the day thing. Like, if, if yeah. you get some first game, you're just like, ah, bro, it's a first game of the day. So it's same for the producers or for the or for the stream. It's just the first stream of the day. Just forget yeah. about it. Move on, move on. As we see, Meldrul having a Mage Slayer Ember, very popular item in this patch. Like, maybe, like, the most popular one, especially on the Ember Spirit, as he can get it on the multiple people, dealing damage, reducing their magic. Game. Oh! Well, while we're speaking about Meldrul. He's going to be chased here by the creep wave. They have vision of him. Zebra do. Oh, Arena coming out. They'll lock in place the Nyx. Nyx is down. So now with that pick off, we'll try and play it safely here, Na'Vi. Don't want to go into uh, a Meepo Aegis. Meepo will actually run away and poof to the top lane and take out this tower if he can, though they get themselves another kill here and they take out Rain Prince as well. The Navi is doing the great job of like, like they're playing as the Aegis, but they're taking these small pickups one by one, which every time they get one, they get to delay. Like, like okay, Zibe team feels stronger, they keep going, but not in the right way. So every time they lose one hero, they need to wait for him. And they lose another one, they need to wait for him. So like every kill is like a 45 to 1 minute of the Aegis, so Navi just not only keeping the network like as it is, they're actually gaining the lead, but they need still to be careful if they want to make a use of it. Uh oh, Malari. He's going to try and heal up here. He's got the Glimmer Cape as well. Being sucked on there. Rain Prince. The Swashbuckle will claim the life of the Enchantress on her own there. Malari was. Well, as they found the Meepo there with the Aegis too, actually taking out that Aegis. I mean, he needs to be careful in his own. They really, they, as I said, they feel strong, but they need to go nicely, not one by one. Meepo goes alone, tries to catch, like, more, yeah. not only the edge, and, like, the, the Wind Ranger focus fire to just gets the ages. At least it's only the ages, so that will be the ages. Ages wasted, like, a really good job by the Navi, like, delaying the game into their favor. And that's what Navi are doing. They're, they're playing together as a team here right now. There's barely any opportunity for Zebe right now to get themselves a pick up. Because Na'Vi, they are with each other all the time. I mean, apart from Melajul right now on Ember, who, you know, he can remnant away and 
TP back. He, he's been playing it safe, hasn't been revealing himself too much here in Zibi. They want to take themselves objectives, as you can see here. Pushing towards the tier two right now. Yeah. Being quite cautious here with the fact that you know, Nesfa does not have himself an Aegis anymore. That was taken out by Mars. This is what you do when, when you feel stronger. And like, they felt stronger. They wanted to kill the enemy, but they kept messing up. So they're like, okay, we're just gonna go brute towards the objective. Right? Ooh, Melzo's gonna get the visitor. Oh no! The, do you see the spike carapace? It did not impact the ember there, even though that he had himself the flame god out. I, I thought he was gonna get stunned there, but I think, think it just expired by the time he got himself that wisdom rune. Uh, I, I, I didn't figure out what happened, but regardless. Ooh, Nyx and Pango. Yeah. He gets the Mars. Rolling thunder. Mars is still pretty healthy. Arena comes out with a spear. That's going to be the Nyx dead. He's going to try and attempt to take down Pango now. Focus fire. The swap is there. The magic missile upon Lion. Zayak will fall. Meanwhile, Zibe now turning it around here with the aggression after finding the Lion. Actually, maybe perhaps going to try and go for the Ember? Nope. Ember is away. And Disperser now on the Meepo as well. Catching Enchantress there. With the net. He's very tanky. But there's the Mega Meepo. Look at that. 3,400 HP. Maladie. What are you going to do? You... And the Disperser. Look at that Disperser. He's wow. hitting very hard at the end. Forces actually the Mega Meepo. It was close. With the Spear Break, they might have actually got him. I mean, I think I overestimated the Meepo tankiness because there is some pure damage coming from this end. There is some uh, some focus fire on the Wind Ranger, right? They have a lot of single target damage. So if they can lock on onto one Meepo, like out of position, they will kill him. The Navi has what it takes to deal with this Meepo, but. Also, I would still favor the Zibe in case they play well as a team. They, they, they have enough protection for the Meepo between the Captify and, and the Swap. What do you think about this Disperser item, by the way? Uh, it, it, insane. It's, Disperser, it's basically buying a haste, right? <laughs> I mean, it just that it's AoE, that you can use it on your teammates. Now we're gonna see Meepo solo take the Tormento. It's uh, one of the, like, why this hero is so strong, right? There's not so many heroes with the recent buffs to the Tormentor, like the, the tick damage for the TA, I don't know, the not going minus below zero armor, like all this, all these things like messed up some solo killers of Tormento, but Meepo can still do it. Oh, smoke on oh. smoke. Nodule. Smoke on Invis. finds the Nyx there. They add themselves a sentry. The finger of death claims the life there of the Nyx. The arena will come out. They spear up the Vengeful Spirit. Stuck in the arena here. Vengeful will fall. Yeah, the Pangolier as well. They've lost themselves three here onto Zibe. Maybe four as Meepo only remains here within the midst of this fight. The Mega Meepo is going to come out, but I don't think it's going to be enough. As speared back towards the tree will be slowed down, taken out, four dead. They will only lose the Lion here on Na'Vi as Zayak falls. That is an incredible fight there for Na'Vi. I, it's just a bit unfortunate way to start the fight for the Zibet. They instantly lose the Nyx. They try to roll onto the line. Lion gets the new pesky shard out, you know. He gets the, this BKB during the drain and uh, like he lives and gets another another set of spells out. And that means 4 for 1. Make it like sort of 5 for 1 because the engine wouldn't die twice. Oh my god, this, 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 that's that's like a huge turnaround. And now Meepo might start to fall off really hard. Look at this Mars. Look at the look at the Navi force. They're just so fat compared to the Zebra ones. I mean, Melodrill wasn't having the greatest of time here in regards to net worth, but he's actually been able to recover here with being on his own. He has himself a Veil of Discord with that Maelstrom now. I've got to remember, he only had a Mage Slayer at that time. They have themselves a Gem of True side as well, so able to see when this Nyx Assassin does indeed come underneath it. Yes, and the Nyx decided to go for the Blink. He didn't go for the... For the one shot build right he, he's gonna go for the shard use and then into the usually we just see people go straight up they got brown boots they go and like they start being like a nuisance around map where they can even one shot the course i'm going back onto this disperser item as well i, I have a feeling the reason why we haven't seen darks here anymore with the surge is because you can get it now in a night and it's aoe <laughs> 
<laughs> instead of single target. Oh, I, I used to play one game in a pub, Warlock versus Beepo, and I was like, yeah, bro, this should work, you know? It just, uh -huh. just link far, and like, uh, then he bought, like, Disperser, and he removed all of them. All oh, the Feral Zones, every time. And I felt like the most useless guy in the entire universe. It's, it, this item is on my hate list. Okay, we're gonna see a smoke from Navi. Rosh is coming up, so they wanna contest it. Meepo, he needs to be careful. Are they aware though, Zube? Are they sort gonna take the high ground here? I mean, they have themselves an observer, but they are gonna have the high ground here, Navi are. Melodule coming forward here with the Shivers. The Roshan's gonna roll. Now they definitely know that something's happening bashed. in this pit. Oh, he got bashed! He didn't get off the rolling thunder. The arena comes out there. They've speared up the Pugna. Pugna's gonna fall. As they do find themselves the Vengeful here as well. Vengeful will fall, but has themselves that ghost form. There's Meepo. Oh, no! Down as well. Zayak's going to fall. And they get themselves a team wipe there with a buyback from Pugna. Navi come out on top once again. Mifri. Man, taking up all that, that was the unluckiest Pango fight I ever saw. Like, he first gets bashed by the Rosh trying to roll, and then after he gets the roll, he gets stuck in this little corner. I don't know, what, what is this reach or whatever, and he does absolutely nothing for a whole fight. So, they were... They fought 4v5, literally. Like, so unlucky. Ages for the Wind Ranger. Cheese for the Meljolf probably. I mean Navi is Navi is not gonna stop, I think. I think Shigetsu is going for a nullifier here, maybe? Got the helm of iron will. Uh, there's not many items you can build with this with this thing. Uh, the the, the <laughs> nullifier is one, the other one is Veil, I think, uh, and the third one yeah. is Helm. I think the nullifier versus the Pagna makes a lot of sense. It's a really hey, good item. Armlet Wind Ranger. Armlet Wind Ranger. Armlet? Oh yeah, this. Oh. Armlet on every hero. If people had more courage, another smoke. Oh, oh, back oh, to oh. back to back smoke. Oh, Meepo. Nest fit. Oh, he scouted out. There's the shackle shot. Oh, and that's a definite kill. The finger of death comes out. As now they hex forward, they got themselves the Pugna here as well. Pugna in some trouble. He is going to decrepify himself here, but he's taken out by a big power shot. The arena comes out now onto two Pango. He's going to be able to roll out of this, but they caught themselves the Vengeful. There's three kills on the side of Na'Vi. They take down the ghost form as well, or they'll attempt to at least. Zayek will still survive. Trying to get the kill there onto life, but he's not able to. And Pango has to get himself out again. Doesn't have the TP to come back to the lane, but I think he's going to try and push it out. They will find the tier 2 tower here on Na'Vi. We'll go for the tier 3. Another almost a team wipe, man. They just they just have too much and they're playing too fast. They go smoke, 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 smoke. Like, bring the heat to the Ziba. Like, like, we see the difference between these two teams. Ziba gets the ages, they die one by one around the map. To the Navi, good positioning, but Navi gets the just instant smoke with the good lanes. They get Meepo into three more kills, and now they're pressuring high ground with both Aegis and Cheese. I think maybe not, maybe Cheese is being used last fight. But I, I, I'm trying to think of a way for Zibet to come back to this game, and it's rough, man. It's rough. I mean, maybe I suggest. I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe perhaps trying to get a pick off here, but it's the fact that Na'Vi are, are not separating from each other. They they are together forever right now. They have been together for the past 10 minutes, I think. They they have not left neither of each other. They are together. Yeah, sort of, really as you hard. said, the Ember is the only one that kind of leaves, but he's still around with the, with his remnants. And Zibel will listen to you. They're going to try to go around, but if we know it, now we know it, so oh, no. they're gonna stick together. They are. Okay, oh, maybe perhaps they'll find the Wind Ranger here because there's no backup. They will get it. The arena comes out and it will only catch the Vengeful at this time. Meanwhile, though, the Mega Meepo comes out, laying the damage there into the Meepo. The Meepo is all right here. Where the hell's he gone? He's out of here. But Melajul is slowly pursuing in there with the Searing Change, able to dispel it there with the Disperser. Never mind, is going to be found and taken out. Triple kill for Shigetsu. Thankfully, had that Aegis, came back alive and wreaked havoc there with the wind run. Ah, uh, he forgot one friend behind. He thought he's out, but he needs to get all of them out. 
GG gets called by the Meepo, pause disconnect. Uh, <laughs> hate to see it man, a bit of a tilt on the Zibe side. They must know they had their chance at this game, but it actually turns into a 30 minute song. We'll see if they can gather it up for the next game. So, I'm hoping to...